Theories of emotion are often confused. How do we experience emotion? Do we feel the emotion and then have a bodily response? Do we have a bodily response and then feel the emotion? Do they happen simultaneously? Is it something else? It really depends on the theory of emotion. First is the common sense one. And so you've got this experience of a bear. You're seeing a bear. Ah! And so the quote is, I tremble because I am afraid. So the stimulus creates the fear, which is the experience, which then creates arousal. So you have stimulus, emotion, body change. That's the common sense approach. Then you've got the James Lang approach, which is I feel afraid because I tremble. So you've got the stimulus of the bear, physiological arousal, then creating the fear experience. So you've got the stimulus, body change, uh, change and then emotion of fear. That's James Lang. The Canon Bard says, the bear makes me tremble and feel afraid. So there's the external stimulus, in this case the bear, then subcortical brain activity is occurring, then you have the experience of fear, then you have physiological arousal. So you've got stimulus, brain, emotion, body. Then more recently, you've got the Singer-Schachter two-factor theory of emotion. I label my trembling as fear because I appraise the situation as dangerous. So a stimulus will create physiological arousal. Then you've got the cognition. That's one scary bear. I'm afraid of it. That's, so that's the appraisal going on. And then you've got the, the fear or the experience. Then you have the emotion. So you've got uh, stimulus, body, cognitive response slash label, and then emotion. And yes, I did notice that typo just now. So, and this is a page that covers all four of them. And so what you have is a comparison of the four theories of, a, uh, of emotion with the stimulus being a growling bear. And yes, I know that's a statue of a bear. Photo credits, courtesy Joe Schlobotnik off of Flickr. Thank you very much, Joe.